Hello YouTube and welcome to the Wild Expat channel. Sorry a bit of a delay in this since my last video but I've, uh, I've been in, in bed with tonsillitis for the last week so it's uh, I'm feeling a bit better now so uh, back to the videos. So today I'm going to actually show you um, these two saws in action. So this is the, the Silky Big Boy and this is the new one, this is the smaller Silky Gone Boy and uh, I'm actually in my garden and we're going to actually chop down this tree. So um, last year it died, as you can see there's loads of moss and mushrooms or fungus whatever it is growing all over it so it's time to take it down um, so I'll take it down with uh, with the small one this time and uh, if you want to see the big one in action have a look look on the uh, the link above and there's uh, there's a video of me chopping down a real big tree with this um, and once it's down I'm gonna cut with both of them and you can uh, you can see how they compare Yeah, it did pinch up a little bit, but that was just where the uh, where I cut through too much and it started to lean back onto the blade. So that's the only way, that's the reason why, but let them learn. So you can see this fairly good sized log, especially if you were camping. This is the kind of stuff you'd be chopping. And you can see I had no trouble getting through it. And a very nice clean cut. That was my cut at the back to make it drop over. But yeah, definitely dead. Um, I've left it a bit long so in the summertime I can uh, get this ripped out and dig down or whatever. So what we're going to do now is uh, move it into place and uh, start chopping it up into sections. So now the tree's down, I've laid it onto an old log I've got lying around the house and I'm going to start chopping it up into sections using both of the saws. Uh, so we'll start off with the, uh, with the big boy and then we'll alternate between the two.
obviously if you watch my unboxing video you'll know the difference between the two saws so one's got significantly smaller less teeth and slightly less aggressive uh, but you end up with different cuts so let me show you the two I've chopped now so this one here is with the with the gone boy and this one's here with the big boy so not a great deal of difference but you can certainly see that that one's a bit smoother than that one but obviously it doesn't make a difference in a camping environment because this would all be firewood but uh, interesting to see the difference between the two uh, and noticeably the gone boy you can actually use two hands quite nice the big boy you've only got the option to use two hands whereas with the gone boy you can use both so let's do another one again with the uh with the smaller gone boy it is a notice noticeably a bit thinner as well um, but still if you use it right shouldn't cause you any problems I'd say you need to be slightly more delicate and a bit more precise but absolutely no trouble getting through through these logs I'll show you the actual difference in thickness between the two I'd say the big boys probably double Looking closely. So let's carry on. purposeful with the big boy I'm finding but this is still impressive for the size and like I said before by having this being so much smaller it gives you plenty more options you can take it everywhere with you whereas I'm finding with the big boy I have to kind of purposely pack it whereas this can always come with me It's good to get your logs off the ground if you're chopping. Ideally you'd have like a little horse or something or crossing so it's never going to move anywhere. You don't have to worry about your foot then trying to hold the thing in place. Let's try this one with just one hand. pressure on the pull. So I'm going to swap back, back to two hands. And just because it's a thinner blade you can really pull on it. It's the pushing that causes any potential damage.
go. What I'm noticing, I'm just tidying up the last ends, the little small bits, and uh, what I'm noticing is this is actually, uh, the convoy is actually better because I can uh, easily do it with one hand. So here, for example, much easier than, uh, than trying to do it with the bigger one. So I'll show you with a bigger one here. Obviously it's much bigger. Still does it. But where with the little one, You know what I mean? I could be a little bit more accurate with the uh, with the smaller stuff. So that's interesting to know. So there you go. That's a whole tree cut down in uh, absolutely next to no time using both of the, uh, the Silky Big Boy and the Silky Don Boy. Uh, I definitely like them both. And uh, as you can see, that's a nice little healthy stack of firewood if you're out and about um, with very little time at all. So hopefully you can see the benefit to both. Um, and if you are thinking about making a purchase uh, of one or the other perhaps this will help you uh, to make your mind up which one's best for you if you did like the video then please do subscribe to the channel and uh, give the video a thumbs up it really does mean a lot to us and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video so what i'm going to do now is because i've been chucking these all around in the snow you can see they're covered in grime obviously if you want to look after your tools then you need to make take care of them so i'm not worried too much whilst i'm out about cutting them down and things like that. i'm going to chuck them around the tools at the end of the day uh, but the important part is what we do next so i'm going to take them indoors and uh, i'll just show you quickly how i'll clean them up and store them away for next time okay so now i'm back in from the garden or if you're uh, returning from your camping trip just going to show you what i'm going to do to uh to get them all cleaned up ready for next time so what i do you can see they're covered in a bit of mud and snow and bits and pieces so what i do is i'll give them a quick wipe, wipe over all the big stuff off it, get all the water off. Ultimately the blade's the most important thing we've got to take care of. Just a quick, quick wipe to begin with. It's an old t-shirt here. Okay, so that, and then all I'll do is I'll grab a little brush and just clean out the You can see all the, all the dirt coming off. Keeps it nice and clean. You get all the mechanism as well. You can also periodically check these. Uh, if it's too loose or it's too tight, then you can always adjust it. And interestingly as well, if you do lose these little bits by any chance, not that I have, but if you do, all of these parts can be bought directly from Silky to get replaced. So. You don't have to worry about, it's not the end of the world, you don't have to buy a new saw or anything like that, because that could be annoying. So, that's that. You can see all the, see all the dirt here, probably, that's uh, come off it. That. And then all I'll do is grab a bit of WD. If you do get uh, your blade actually gets covered in um, what's it called, you know, the sap and all that kind of thing starts to stain it, then you can use uh, Silky recommend using a vegetable oil wipe on it, and that'll actually naturally take it off. So a little bit of WD. Obviously, we're in the winter now, so it's snowing, and it's, this is the time when your tools are going to take a hammer in. In the summer, this is probably not as necessary, and you probably don't have to do it every time. But at least I know. Handle's not that important. Wipe off none of this. And that's done, ready for next time. So I'll hang that up there. Another convoy. clean 
handle as well. Still got to do the uh, lanyard on that. I'll do that at some point. And in this case, this can go back in the box. Done. So that's both saws all put away. It doesn't take long. Uh, and it means that your tools will last you a lifetime rather than a season or two. So always do that and do take care of your tools. So uh, once again, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And if you've got any uh, comments at all or advice or you know, got any questions about any of the saws that, uh, that I've talked about here or in fact any of my equipment that you've seen in the past, then please do leave me a comment in the, uh, in the, in the area below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Take care. See you later. Bye.